final leg. So in the mix of a huge weekend between Milrose and the World Indoor Tour going on in tour in Poland, we can't forget about those NCAA performances and some of the other meets that went down around the world. Jumping right into those NCAA athletes though, we have Langston Jackson competing for Kentucky. He's the freshman there. He was down in Albuquerque. He managed to run an NCAA number two time, 20.58 seconds. Huge performance for him. Again, makes him number two in the NCAA this year. He also coupled that with a performance in his 60 meter dash, 6.5 eight seconds so one of the few athletes to get under 6.60 seconds in that 60 meters makes him number four in the NCAA this year so a freshman at Kentucky again only a freshman so definitely going to be contending for some spots at the NCAA champs this year also in Albuquerque we had Tamara Clark she's a junior who competes for Alabama in that 200 meter dash as well she managed to run an NCAA leading performance 22.81 seconds surpassing that NCAA lead we just saw set last weekend so really strong performance again another lady who's definitely going to be contending for that title when we get to NCAAs later on the year. Speaking of those NCAA leads, this time in the field events, we have Chris Nielsen, that pole vaulter who has been extremely dominant. Again, NCAA champion outdoors last year. He managed to improve his NCAA lead 5.82 meters. Really strong performance. One of the best marks in the world this year. So he's not only going for some great accolades when it gets to the NCAAs, but we might see him challenging for a spot when it comes to the Olympic team later on in the summer. So keep a lookout for Chris Nielsen from South Dakota. Also in the pole vault, have to mention Zach Bradford, the sophomore at Kansas. He managed to jump a personal best of 5.71 meters. Really strong personal best. Makes him number three in the NCAA this year. Only behind Nielsen and Casey Lightfoot from Baylor. So definitely really strong performances we're seeing in the pole vault. Going to be a great competition when we get to those NCAA champs. Moving back over to the track, we had the Kentucky women throwing down in that 4x4 down at the meet in Albuquerque as well. They put down an NCAA leading mark. Three minutes, 30.64 seconds. Really great performance. Separating themselves from the rest of the teams this year. We're going to see a lot more progress from other teams as the season progresses and of course once we get to those NCAA champs we're definitely going to see a great fight for the title so keep a lookout for them but definitely the Kentucky women leading the way in that 4x4. A couple other results in the field events Jordan Scott he's a senior at Virginia he managed to throw a huge NCAA lead down in that triple jump 16.64 meters so definitely showing he's very very strong definitely going to be improving upon that as we go throughout the rest of the season. On the women's side in the triple jump, we had Aqua competing for Texas A&M and representing Ghana internationally. She managed to throw down an NCAA number two, 13.77 meters. Really strong performance again, NCAA number two, and really significant. She hasn't competed in the triple jump in a long time. So this is her first foray back into it and definitely showing she's going to be contending for an NCAA title later on in March. Over in the shot put, we have Tasaga from Iowa. She's been very consistent in the shot put already. She managed to get to the NCAA number two performance, 17.96 meters. So great performance from her. Again, she's already been pretty consistent throughout the season. So definitely going to be challenging for a title when we get to March. Now, we have to mention some of the NCAA performances we saw at the Milrose Games on Saturday. Of course, we have Danny Jones, who ran that mile. She's a senior at Colorado, threw down a huge performance, 4 minutes, 27.88 seconds. That makes her not not only the NCAA leader in 2020, but also moves her to number six all time in the NCAA. So huge performance, probably the favorite going into NCAA champs this year. In the women's 3,000 meters though, we had Alicia Monson, the senior at Wisconsin, and Wayne Kalati, the junior at New Mexico. Monson managed to throw down an NCAA lead of eight minutes, 53.69 seconds. Kalati was not too far behind, eight minutes, 54.66 seconds. So Monson that time actually makes her number 11 performance in history of the NCAA. She already owns the number three's position, but definitely showing she's maybe the favorite going in. Kaladi is definitely going to be on her heels, so we'll keep a lookout for these ladies. Finally, at Milrose, got to talk about three NCAA athletes who threw down really great performances in that men's mile. Of course, Oliver Hoare, the senior from Wisconsin, led the way 356.47 seconds, followed very closely behind by Carlos Villarreal from Arizona. He got a best of 356.77 seconds. Finally, in third for the NCAA athletes, we have Jordy Beamish, the senior at Northern Arizona. He he managed to get a best of 356.90 seconds. So all three of these guys getting in that 356 range and definitely going to be showing up when it gets to NCAAs next month. All right, let's finish things off with those pro results. Some really high quality performances, but three main results we have. Sam Kendricks, he must have saw what Mondo Duplantis did on Saturday, breaking that world record. He managed to break his national record, the American record in the pole vault, 6.01 meters. Again, American national record that moves him to number six all time indoors. Of course, we know he 
he set the American record last year at 6.06 .06 meters outdoors. So this shows that he's not letting up. He's definitely going to be going for an Olympic title when we get to Tokyo this year. Of course, Mondo's going to be on his heels, but these two guys are going to make for a great competition. In the women's triple jump, we had Yulimar Rojas, the 2017 and 2019 world champion in the triple jump, competing for Venezuela. She got out to a huge personal best in that triple jump, 15.03 meters. Not only a personal best, but also moves her to number six all time indoors. We already saw that she had jumped very far last year, not only indoors, but also outdoors. This performance, 15.03, is the farthest jump we've seen in 10 years of the triple jump. So huge performance from Rojas showing that she's still rolling off the high of 2019 going into this 2020 Olympic season. Finally, we have to talk about Danielle Williams, the hurdler from Jamaica, the 2015 world champion. She also got bronze in the 2019 world championships in Doha. Indoors here, she managed to improve her personal best in those 60 meter hurdles, 7.86 seconds, really strong performance. She had a little hiccup at those world championships. She was probably one of the favorites going in, but definitely gonna see what she does in those 100 meter hurdles in the Olympic season this year. All right, so those are the highlights from the NCAAs and a couple pro results. Make sure you guys check out the last two recaps that I did of the Milrose Games and of the World Indoor Tour that went down in tour in Poland, all right? So make sure you guys check it out. If I miss any results, make sure you guys go in the comments below. Let me know any of the results I missed or let me know what your favorite performance from this entire weekend was, all right? So make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again next video. Thanks.